My sister uh, uh, and her husband were going to the Phillies game with a bunch of their college friends. And uh, my sister was sick or she had class or something. She couldn't go. So they're like, oh, you're a big Phillies fan. You want to go? I'm like, sure, totally. I'll go with your friends that I don't remember. That I met vaguely and someone's going to have to remind me. But So we go and, uh, you know, I meet up with everybody. And uh, they're not really big Phillies fans. Um, everyone's like, this is just fun. It's just fun to be here. Who's that? I'm like, that's that's the umpire. Like, oh, oh, he's not playing. Like, no, he's not playing. Uh, so, so I'm there, and one of the other guys, you know, is, is a big, uh, you know, baseball fan. We're, we're hanging out, and uh, so one of my sister's friends shows up a little late, and she's she's like, oh, um, I work with uh, Scott Fransky's wife. Scott Fransky is the play-by-play uh, uh, -play guy on the radio, not the one on TV. The guy on the radio. If you listen to me on twelve ten, you'll hear Scott Fransky's voice. And so she's like, oh yeah, uh, I work with his wife at the zoo, you know, uh, he can he can totally get us, uh, we can go back, you know, backstage, so to speak, up into the radio booth. And I'm like, oh wow, yeah, totally. You know, I'm, you know, a little geeked out, because it's like, oh wow, it's like where the magic happens. And um, so we get in, and you know, they, they have these like really awful chairs that you think, like, they look like they came from the vet, you know, it's like, they're like from the 80s, and you're like, really? You can't afford, but, so... Why don't you sit in the chair? I'm like, okay, you know, it was not a comfortable chair, you know. And uh, oh, you put on the headset. You know, you can't talk. You know, they keep the thing up, but you can listen to like what it's like to be an actual radio. Member. Like, wow. So you know, we all take our turns, and I'm sitting there, and, like, looking down at the game. It's a great view, and you're like, wow. So I, um, I'm, you know, sitting there. You know, everybody's going to turn, and I'm just kind of standing there. I'm like, wait a minute. So there's Scott Fransky, and there's Wheels, the the color guy, and there's a chair right in between them, and that's where I sat. And I'm like. That's Harry Callis' chair. I just sat in, you know, the long, you know, the most venerable voice, you know, in Philadelphia sports history. Like, I just sat in his chair, and I just put on his headphones. And I was like, <gasps> you know, I felt too stupid. You're like, you know, like, excuse me, excuse me, wheels. Um, is that Harry's chair? You know, did I just, you know, uh, defile history by sitting in it? <laughs> you know, but, um, yeah, it was just... It's sort of a, you know, I, I, when Harry Callis passed, you know, uh, I guess it was last year, uh, early in the season, and it was, you know, sort of an emotional thing uh, for everybody. And, you know, it's just sitting in his chair, it's like, wow, like, he had a really crappy chair. <laughs> All right, thank you.